What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's a talkie. Hey, mommy doesn't like you doing that. Because she killed me. You killed my knee. You gonna talk? No. <laughs> Can you, can you just clean all the way over here? It's just still real smudgy. Ah, never mind. I got it. Um, <laughs> welcome, one and all. This is Peter Pomiati of Human Art Studio, otherwise known as Has. And uh, this is day one of my 100 Days of Making Comics. Uh, otherwise known as 100 Days of Making Has Comics. Uh, the whole 100 Days Challenge was created by Kevin Cross. So uh, go type in his name and you find him on the inter YouTubes. Um, so I have. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get a new office chair one day. Um, I have many goals for uh, my 100 days, and I really wanted to start on the 1st of August, um, and I gave myself a little prep time, so starting on the 6th. Well, <laughs> the, the little prep time uh, was no time at all and um, I'm juggling uh, work, work for other people and, and uh, yeah so here I am and I, I slapped together the cover that uh, you've seen um, I'll probably do a, a much nicer one whenever I have a gap of time in between but but here I am I'm, I'm just like you know, full steam ahead, regardless of uh, uh, my time is limited currently. Um, the, the challenge states that uh, put in at least 30 minutes a day um, for each day. Um, I don't want to start drifting. I, I didn't really make notes. Um, so just bear with me a little. This is going to be a longer episode for, for uh, a couple of different things you'll be seeing. Um, as well as my key. Queen Queen. Come on. How could I not start off my 100 days without seeing one of my cats? Um... But I have, I have big goals, and you know, if if you didn't catch my uh, Facebook live stream there, um, then I, you know, I, I posted it on YouTube too, uh, and I don't recall what I said or, or whatever. But anyway, I have big goals for these 100 days. Is what it comes down to. Um, and I'll just go over briefly uh, a couple of um, the important ones to me that, that are on the top of my brain. Um, one is that I need to absolutely positively relocate. Um, it's above and beyond just uh, being in a bigger place, it's really like uh, I'm done here. <laughs> um, uh, it, it's 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 about being my own man again, and um, you know this whole situation I want to say goodbye to, uh, and I'm going to be looking into renting a home which will be a much bigger place, uh, but I'll, I'll probably have a roommate, housemate, um, for at least a couple of months, uh, above and beyond that, who knows, 
you know, I, I <laughs> do eventually plan to get back into the dating game again. Um, for just, just a little bit of a recap, uh, for those hopefully you're interested, um, you know, I, I came to Campbellsville, which is where I am. It's in Kentucky. Small town, mostly poor. Um, there's lots of, lots of rich people, but it, overall it's mostly middle to lower income people. Um, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I've been scraping by myself. Um, anyway, came here. I was engaged for five years. Relationship didn't work out. We're still best of friends, and I, it, it, it's a really, it's just a really great friendship, and we have a lot of things in common, some common that we like, and, and she's uh, been encouraging. Like when I did my first 100 days, um, she was encouraged me to do that, and and now. Um, you know, now there's a lot more people in my camp, um, but yeah, I'm not in that relationship, I'm just here in this very tiny apartment, um, currently three cats, one of which, uh, I did a Facebook fundraiser, I mentioned this in my live stream, it was successful, I'm going to get... Uh, the cat's name is Pop Pop. He's gray and white. He's a real sweetheart. Uh, currently outside with uh, my other one, my girl. Uh, Pop Pop is a boy. Um, my girl, Clea, cleans in here, but she's in the bedroom. Um, so, three cats. Um, I have a fourth who is at a pet sanctuary just outside of town. Anyway, one of the main reasons why I got to move out of here is technically I can only have one. Um, so uh, I'll be able to have my two girls plus um, my other one who is M. Night. I miss M. Night every day. And we saw him not too long ago. He's looking thin. It's just the summer is been horrible. Today has been horrible. Uh, I had to go do some traveling uh, to the next town over just to get some uh, uh, inks I got to do printed out onto, uh, you know, 11 by 17 Bristol paper. Um, because in town, they don't know what the hell. They don't know how to accomplish my mission. But I'm thinking... For the future, because I, it's too much. I, I waited a week to get that done. Uh, it's too much of a wait. It's it's too many factors. Uh, I might have to cut the paper into sections just to have them printed out on Bristol. But um, that's, that's for the future. Anyway, you know, it's like I'd rather work on one sheet of paper, and not multiple. But it, if I gotta do that for the meanwhile, then I will. Um, so, yeah, to get <laughs> I had a successful fundraiser, so Pop Pop will be moving on. Uh, it apparently takes a week or two for the funds to to go through Facebook and then the banks and, and whatnot. So once once I get all that money, he'll be going to his new home, make my life huge here, however, temporary, a little easier, um, so yeah, moving from here to somewhere else will be a, a great help, because, you know, both doors outside, to outside, front door is this way, back door is that way, essentially, the cats have to go through the studio regardless uh, if they want to go out. So that means just like cat hair flying. And the reason I bring this up, and a lot of this episode will probably be 
no interest to a lot of people, but uh, hopefully you'll check it out. I promise future episodes will be short and sweet uh, with a lot of speed inking or drawing or thereabouts, and uh, so much shorter. Uh, approximately, I, I think I'm going to go shoot for 15 minutes uh, thereabouts. Um, as I film this, I'm not sure how long this one, but hopefully not too, too long. Um, so yeah, that's one of the goals is, is getting to a house where I have a separate studio. Um, what you'll be seeing in this video coming up is I filmed this studio after a cleanup. And, um, mostly it was my bookshelf, but, um, the importance of that is, so I got that organized that will help me sort out, you know, like there's a stack where I have comics to read, um, but also better access to pages I got to ink, and also uh, my little container of individual projects that I'll be working on during these 100 days. Now, uh, 100 days of working on Has Comics covers every project I'm going to be doing for myself, um, but I'll be focusing on mostly three. That would be Retro, there's a, a Italian <laughs> superhero of my own creation that I'll be writing and inking. Uh, so you see, you'll be seeing me ink a lot of those pages. Uh, and, um, you know, I had a, a friend of mine pencil the first issue. Um, if by the time I'm s successfully published that, uh, he's not available to ink anymore. I mean, to, to pencil any more of the issues, I might take over canceling, we'll see, that remains to be seen, but, um, Rich Fisher, uh, who's a sweetheart of a guy, um, penciled that a while back, and I had to shelf it, um, you know, the, the, the challenges of being freelance, and the struggles of my life over these past five, even ten years, um, have delayed too many things. So the, the purpose of this, um, these 100 days, uh, and mind you, my first 100 days was successful. I didn't do 100, 100 videos, but uh, pretty close. Uh, I did two or three, I hate to say it, but maybe four other um attempts at the challenge um i don't know we'll look back over my videos and see uh but none of them were successful <laughs> uh there was a there was one where i was going to do a short story of retro which i plan to still do this, this short story uh it just won't be a hundred day challenge with videos and all that i'll just do it when the time arises uh, down the line. Um, but these, you know, I'm, yeah, so I'm focused on retro. I'm going to be focusing on blood rights, which is, there's a whole team behind that, and, and I'm the inker as well as co-writer. Um, so I I'm, I'm had to shelf that many a time. Uh, but it's time I go forward and, you know, wipe the dust off of that and, and keep it act actively moving forward. So I'll be uh, inking a lot of pages to that. Um, and the final one that is going to be the main focus to these 100 days is Neon Even. Now, progress I'll be showing on my Patreon. So, while I may state, you know, I did that, this or that, uh, within these videos, I'm going to show my progress on my Patreon page. Uh, so, 
everything above and beyond that, like uh, uh, Bright Eyes, I'm even considering Worlds, uh, which is sort of my anime heavy metal inspired comic that I thought of way back with when I first started my patron. Um, I, I do want to do that project, uh, even if it's a giant size issue or something to that effect. Um, and nothing else is coming to mind, but I, I, I have too many projects. I, uh, started and stopped and, and, and if you're a creator, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, not only will I be improving my home slash work standards, uh, by, by moving up in the world and renting a home, um, but I also want to really push my studio forward and really start hiring people um, and ex like just really expanding having a full-fledged studio. So today, day one starts right now with just me. But by the time I reach day 100, I hope to have a small group of people to where I could say, you know, this is Human Art Studios, myself and a whole group of other people. Uh, so, one of my major goals um, is to bust my ass not only on this these 100 days but also make a, a lot of artwork along the way my own personal pencil and inking stuff uh, I'll be making prints I'll be making you know whatever you want to see if you want to see me do stickers or magnets refrigerator magnets or bookmarks or whatever you know please Leave your suggestions, advice, and everything in the comment section below. Like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I got a, a bunch of new subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, thank you, of course, to my patrons. Um, I'm going to, yeah, finance this, this studio growth through my patron page through YouTube, which means I gotta get, I have to, have to, have to get to a thousand subscribers. Right now, I believe it's at 533, I, I, 34, 34. I just got a new subscriber um, as I record this. So if you aren't subscribed, even if you just can watch one video, get my subscriber, subscriber number up. Um, once it goes to a thousand, I'll be re-enrolled into the uh, monetization program, becoming a, a YouTube partner, so that I can monetize all my videos again and make whatever I make each month. Uh, even if it's ten bucks, fifty bucks, depending on how productive I am on YouTube above and beyond these one hundred days. Um, every little bit counts. And if you're a fellow artist and, and you know different streams of income, definitely help out. So through Patreon, through YouTube, eventually down the line, uh, I, I'm going to start posting a link to my, my PayPal um, that will allow you to uh, give give me uh, tips. So it will be a tip job link. Um, you can state whatever number uh, uh, dollars or even cents that you want to send me. And that, and that will go directly into my PayPal account. Um, through pay, Patreon is 
subscription based so if you want to um, you know subscribe as a patron uh, for an extended period of time you know okay <laughs> you could do it just just for a month but you, you know a lot of people do it for uh, a couple of months or do it for a year I have had you know I've been on patron for years years now um, and I've had regular subscribers so um, you could do it long term and you could do it for a buck or you could do it up to whatever infinity um, but I I've updated my patron page and there is goals and and pledge levels uh, and the benefits are there uh, I still got major tweaks I want to do um, but everything you say there will see there will, will stay I'll just be added stuff I'll make the great page prettier I'll do a new patron video yet again um, but yet yeah, to really fully uh, reach my goal of when you know in the future at a hundred days to have an actual studio where not only me myself here working in the studio but I'll have one or two other people even if they're part-time it would help out greatly um, but also people on the end of artists working on my comics um, probably colorists, probably letters, production, that sort of thing, having them work freelance. I would love to hire them full time. Um, but I really have to level up for that to happen. But yeah, to finance it through Patreon, tip jar, I mean, hell, you can send me a tip of 50,000 one time tip. Um, YouTube, whatever money I, I could possibly make off of that, and I've already, you know, made up to $45 before my patron program was changed, YouTube changed that policy, um, yeah, something, it's just something like that, um, and above that, I'm going to do uh, another way to help me finance it and um, not sure exactly when but I will be doing a Kickstarter um, whether it's during my 100 days or at the end of one of my 100 days one of the things I want to do is do interviews with fellow comic creators comic makers um, exclusively for my uh, patrons um, so that will be a benefit also above and beyond just uh, getting progress updates on me and Ian to which today there won't be none so uh, don't expect one if you become a patron today um, but I will be making weekly updates until I start making, you know, more daily updates. Um, <laughs> heard something outside. Hopefully I don't have to get, get distracted by outside forces. Forces. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I plan to do definitely some kind of maybe Kickstarter, or maybe even I'll try Indiegogo. We'll see. Right now, Indiegogo is hot with a specific group of people. You know who I'm talking about. Um, but I want to, and it's sort of like I'm going to be doing two 100 days at the same time, but I'm not starting the other one today. But I want what I want to do is a hundred interviews with other fellow comic makers, and once that one hundred days is done, 
then I'll be compiling the videos and working with a, a professional editor and make doing new footage um, and compiling that into maybe like one kind of movie and maybe a video series. So uh, something people can order online and, uh, you know, uh, I know for right now my kit up, my camera setup is only so good and I know my streaming kind of sucks. So the footage from early streams won't be so great, but somehow hopefully we can uh, upgrade it <laughs> or, or maybe just paste artwork of theirs while you hear their voice. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it um, But yeah, that's, that's sort of a goal, a separate goal. Um, but I'm just thinking in the big scheme of things, I really want to improve uh, my studio and get my products uh, active is, is really what it comes down to. These 100 days will, will make me, force me to, to keep these projects active and moving forward. Um, I will be, during these 100 days, publishing a couple of books, meaning at least two, one of which would be Arena, which is a book that's 95% done. Um, so it, it's almost like I want to say, like, once I get 25 uh, patrons, I'll, pu I'll publish that book and give a free copy to every patron, as well as, you know, maybe I'll do a raffle or, or some sort of thing. Because um, that book's almost, almost done. Um, I need to pay somebody to finish it off for me and go over a few details and make it a little better. Um, something I, I could figure out on my own, but I'd rather work with somebody with their knowledge and, and learn probably more insight than I could just start going through it myself. Um, cause I want to focus on me being highly productive, which is more working on art, working on comics. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the big gist of it. And I hope you're excited for me. I hope you want to see uh, me working on my comics each day. I hope you follow along and leave comments and leave likes. And I really hope I start seeing some people share my videos because that will be the fucking biggest compliment <laughs> um it seems to be you know it's like i get comments on videos it's it's not as many as i would like um every once in a while i'm surprised by how many comments i get but uh shares that's something else entirely it, and and i realize it takes a lot more of people's time but it's also like well, their audience, they are always pushing their work, you know, it's like, why well, push my work there? Anyway, um, I really hope I see it. <laughs> uh, one of the things, I'll, oh, other things I'll mention is hashtag has nation. If you go on Twitter and uh, share the video there with the hashtag has nation, um, then I will do something special for you. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll give you a shout out, uh, in an upcoming video. Maybe I'll, I'll draw your, uh, original character. Um, something, you know, you tell me what to do. Yeah, fuck it. 
<laughs> I'm the only person. Uh, uh, mostly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I know I'm going to have a lot of fun uh, during this 100 days. Um, even though I'll probably be moving, I'm just going to say midway. Uh, it, it, it's sort of my temporary goal at the moment. Um, realistically, I would love to move this month, but I don't think that's going to happen. Just, to, just to, you know, the income I'll need to, to uh, not only pay for rent and, and deposit, um, but also, uh, you know, if you look through this apartment, there's not much in the way of furniture. Um, so I only need a lot more stuff for a home. Uh, as well as I need to, you know, get real equipment to the studio. I mean, I'm going to need a better setup. And I've gone over this before, but um, possibly a better camera, although I don't think I need a camera per se. I need a better setup, which is an armature and better lighting. Lighting may cost me. Um, and um, yes. yeah, yada, yada, yada. Oh, um, I want a bigger scanner for sure. Uh, not necessarily a printer to where I could print out Blue Line myself, unless, you know, I'm really, I'm really specific about the items I want in my studio. I'm going to look into that. Uh, what kind of printer would be able to print out blue lines? And if I want that kind of monstrosity in my studio. Or if it would just be easier to maybe, you know, just... Um, Print it somewhere and have them mail it to me if it's outside of town. Because <clears throat> that, that could be an option too. Um, so I'll look into that. I'm going to be looking into a lot of things. Um, and also, you know, like one of the goals is, as always, is like the, the more I draw, the, the more I want to improve my skills. And. I feel like I've been good at not necessarily doing daily drawings, but drawing more often, um, which in and of itself, just doing it more often, <laughs> it slightly improves everything. Um, but working with other people, honing my skills of like, you know, I, I, if you didn't know or if you know, but, you know, it's like I work for Marvel, I work for DC, I work for Image indirectly, but you know, I work in the offices of Valiant way back when. Um, I know how it is to work with people who know their shit. And working with a lot of people that are making comics, and, and, you know, I can say the past. Since 2000, I've um, worked with so many small publishers, self-publishers, uh, who really just get by by, you know, like, to them, time isn't of the importance, per se. It's, it's, it's getting the book done, and um, it's just, you know... Uh, working with people who don't know as much as I do and I still expect them <laughs> to to work with me, not at the level of Marvel and DC, but, you know, at a decent level. Um, anyway, it's, that's been my personal challenge. Um, my chair is too low, I understand. I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, so, 
It's, this is, I've gone on at least a half hour right now. Alright, so I'm going to jump into uh, showing you my the current state of my studio as well as something else very special that you'll see. And uh, yeah, so just a hint. One becomes two. Um, yeah, I figured day one, I, I, uh, I'll jump in fully with one of my goals, which is expanding my goal, my, my studio, <laughs> as far as people's, and, uh, yeah, I, I'm already giving away, but, uh, I'm not, not interviewing, but I'm, I'm talking with somebody who's going to be working with me, so that, that's coming up. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you at the tail end and talk with you anew um, and remind you about all the things to do. <laughs> so, as I mentioned earlier, this is my studio after a good cleaning. Uh, not only <laughs> cleaning up uh, collected dust that is natural. I cleaned up a heck of a lot of cat hair from everything, nooks and crannies everywhere, but I um, totally cleaned out my bookshelf, uh, took off all the books, all the art, all the trinkets, all the action figures, <laughs> not much in that department, but it's... Uh, yeah, took a heck of a lot of the morning to do that and just put everything back, reorganizing it, make it you know, a thousand times more presentable and organized and a heck of a lot easier to access. Um, and yeah, so I kicked out the uh, CAX get the cats in order to do that um but you know what you see in this segment is the entirety of my studio um i put my scanner on the floor so i don't think you get a good glimpse of that but uh, just so i have more space on the desk uh on my lamp is where i have my overhead um, camera until I can get an armature um, yeah there's, there's lots I, I will be doing to en enhancing your visual pleasures uh, I also need a new office chair uh, this is much better than what I had but uh, still it's not 100% comfortable. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you get a, a good sense of uh, where my studio is at. In, in the very beginning of this segment, uh, those were books uh, on my to read list. I want to sort of gauge of what other people are putting out, and the quality of everything, um, what kind of extras they got. And, um, yeah, I read a couple of other things. And the reason one of my brother's books is there, because that's, I probably mentioned this before, but that was uh, some background things I did. So, hope you enjoyed. Okay, not inking just yet. <laughs> I thought I'd mention a little bit about Blood Rights. Uh, if you didn't already know, Trevor Sanders is the writer. Ronnie Jacobson is the penciler, and I'm the anchor. I'm also co-writer, and we are all uh, co-creators of the project. 
and it has yeah come on come on work with me it has um vampires and demons and uh when it comes out you know no date as of yet um right now the team uh, we're, all, we're all busy doing different things, um, but the book's progress is in my hands, um, and I uh, actually have to connect with everybody and make sure we're on the same page, um, see where the script is, and um, I know... Ronnie has the next maybe 10 pages. I know he has a batch more. Uh, get those shipped out to me. Um, yeah, I don't believe it's been scripted at all. Yeah. Dialogue. And that's okay. I was thinking of setting up a Trello for the three of us. If you don't know Trello, it's a way to organize organize things and you can include other people onto what they call boards and just make sure you know we all have the same information before us and we all know where the project is at, yada, yada, yada. Okay, we are live. Cool, cool. <laughs> so welcome to my 100 days of making comics. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so introduce uh, yourself to uh, my audience for people that don't know you or your work. All right, so for anybody that doesn't know me, which is probably everybody watching <laughs> I'm uh, Gary Odd Edmund, uh, the creator of The Bud. Um, I don't know, I draw comic books, man. I draw lots of different comic books. And uh, I pencil, ink, I can color, I can letter, I can write. I, I've taken a comic book from absolutely nothing and took it to national distribution on my own and uh but my best concert so far is i've worked for marvel but i can't say on what just <laughs> yet but i have, have worked a little bit for marvel and i'm working for marvel right now on a different project so but i can't say so. yeah <laughs> you gotta follow me and find out and yes and you're you're on uh instagram yeah i'm on instagram twitter uh, Facebook page, all that stuff. Yeah. But if you want me to actually see your comments, then go to Instagram because I don't see comments on any of the others. 
So go follow him on Instagram and leave a comment there, and he'll, he'll get back to you. Yeah, tell me how horrible I am, and <laughs> don't quit your day job, kid. And no. yeah, <laughs> this 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 uh, our career is comic career is like it's a challenge at times. That's for sure. Yeah, all the time, man. <laughs> only, that's what that's half the fun of it. It's not the it's never the same thing. Yeah, well, that's I mean that's what juices me up, you know, the challenge of it. Uh, even though sort of like financially, it's like juggling acorns and stuff, but uh, it's like the creative side of things, working with other people, working with different publishers. Um, it's it's always a blast, you yeah. know. E even if things go south, it's 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 still fun. <laughs> Even when things go south, it's still interesting. I don't know about fun all the time. <laughs> definitely interesting. Uh, we had some yeah. stuff that went south. I had some stuff that went south the past uh, couple months, and it was really bad. But uh, it was definitely interesting. Yeah. Well, um, you know, I've had plenty of things that went south. Um, and you know it's like i i've been sort of building to this point um that i just want a full-fledged studio working on a bunch of books um put them out as they get done and uh the reason you're here today is <laughs> because you know i've been i've been following you you know we've been we've been virtual friends for quite a while now for, ah. for years right <laughs> and um and we haven't done anything uh together yet um so i you know i haven't read your comic yet you sent you sent me <laughs> your comic the other day um but i'm going to be inking uh the cover to that so to, people will finally see us uh working together um I'm hearing some construction outside. Um, <laughs> um, well, at least you know stuff's getting done. You know, that's yeah. How construction is at least stuff's getting done out there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, not my stuff, but their stuff. <laughs> yeah. Whatever they're doing. Um, but yeah, you know, it's like i've been a fan of your work and um and mine is your of yours as well thanks um it's it's always good to hear uh it, it's it's like you know i spend most of the time alone working in the studio and <laughs> plugging away and you don't know you don't know like what people think no no <laughs> unless you get yeah not you look at the likes on your post and that's about all you really get <laughs> Yeah, and, and likes don't tell you anything, you know, com comments are more important. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. They so any of those comments. But yeah. So to, to give people a uh, kind of scope of uh, where things are going and, and what I'll be doing. Um, first of all, I'm going to be hiring you. Um, and pretty much all I'm going to mention right now is that you know i'm doing a universe of characters and you know superhero universe uh much like Marvel dc uh, image tried and failed dark horse tried and failed um other publishers have, have done it successfully you know more sm smaller publishers uh so under under my brand you know the, the the has brand, uh, even art studio. Um, I'm going to be doing my own characters and writing a, a, a small group of books that I hope to one day uh, produce monthly. Uh, it may be, you know, a, as things get produced to start, but um, as you know, we get more people interested in and in, in the knowledge out there of, of what we're working on um hopefully uh you know will be an, enough of a success to um really produce this on on a regular basis um and i 
was thinking of you um, in regards to doing the team book. And you, you said, uh, what? <laughs> I love teams. Teams are great. Yes. Teams and superheroes. I don't like Batman with all of his team. I don't understand that. But X-Men and like Fantastic Four and like Marvel's always been good with teams. DC kind of sucks with teams. Yeah. I love Marvel teams. Avengers, all those guys. Absolutely. Like, you know, um, my inspiration of it is definitely uh, more Avengers than anything else. You know, although you can you can throw in X Men, of course. Um, but like what Avengers did, and Avengers did early on, is to have a team book. But then a lot of the characters in the team had their own solo books, and that's right. ex- that's exactly what I'm planning. Um, so you'll you'll be on on the team book um and what i'm going to be doing with my 100 days is sort of uh funding all this on top of me just busting my ass on the side and and doing projects with other people and i'll have income from that uh you know various freelance work any art i sell yada 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 every penny will be going into creating um this the studio you know expanding the studio i'll be relocating um you know i'm just in a small apartment i'm just gonna get a a rent a full-size home um and and yeah get some people at my location to work side by side with me um like at least one person on on the business side of things um probably a girl friday or something for grunt work um get a get a whole group of people you know you're i have be, uh, you're gonna be like <laughs> bond you're gonna have like your own little like secret headquarters <laughs> cool. what? not so secret but uh, <laughs> you could have a very public headquarters yes of course can i be an agent o double d <laughs> by all means all right, cool. Agent odd. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm 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 really excited about uh, diving into that and 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 getting that all started. Um, and I'm I'm glad you're up for it. Oh, absolutely, hundred percent. I can't wait to see what your ideas are, so I can start. Uh, like, do you have designs, or am I going to be doing some designs, or going to be a little bit of both? Or I I I um. I have some things in mind, you know, like, uh, um, I haven't fleshed at everything, um, but definitely, uh, the coming weeks and and whatnot, and perhaps I'll, I'll, I'll show some stuff on my, uh, 100 days videos of what we're working on. But, um, I I guess most of it will be secret until really like, you know, it gets closer to, uh, we're getting an issue out. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it, it will, it will be a little back and forth. You know, I want your creative input, obviously. And, um, you know, I'm going to have a couple of people on sort of the solo titles and, um, they'll have input to, you know, what they're working on and, you know, there'll be, uh, much like if you think of, uh, Spider-Man is the whole secondary, uh, characters and cast of characters from his personal life as well as his superhero life, and so we'll be, we'll be building quite a big universe. Um, and you know, yeah, it's it's yeah, that's, that's normally what uh, people forget about, man. That's what I've noticed. Like when I work with some writers and stuff like that, they always forget two things. And one is to say the name of their character in the book. I don't know why they just assume everybody knows. Like, even if it's not like the name of the character is like not the title of it, like they they just won't say the name. And then the other one is all the background people that really make it, you know, into a big whole kind of uh, world, like an actual like fleshed out world. You know, everybody thinks about their that one major character and maybe like their major villain, but they don't think about all the people that you know you need in the background to give them something to fight for. Yeah, I'm glad you're thinking that way. 
yeah, one of them, um, I mean, you know, uh, people may not may know or may not know um, my superhero character at the moment that I put out there and, and shown pictures and artwork to um, is called Retro, and Retro is going to be part of the team, um, but kind of like he's like Hawkeye, he's not necessarily the leader, um, but he, he contributes to the team when he's around and, and that kind of thing. Um, and actually, you know, I'm going back and forth on, on who will be the leader. Um, but we'll, we'll see, you know, I get, I got, um, I got at least five characters. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it a little more than that. Um, but it will be interesting. You know, it's like, um, my, my fanboy reading experience has been from like 60s comics to 90s comics i've I've read stuff since the 90s but really the the chunk of what i read was you know between the 60s and the 90s and um so that's that's what creatively um i'm i'm you know uh it's my inspiration um and yeah, I uh, much like um, in retro, um, you know, which you, the first issue is mostly penciled. Um, there's there's some mature stuff, so I guess technically, you know, it's it's not a comic for five year olds. Yeah. Uh, so so that will be across the line. You know, I'm not going to go gratuitous violence or gratuitous uh, sex not within the superhero line um but it will be a, li a little you know a little edgier than the comics i grew up on which means not so much compared to other comics out there now but right <laughs> that's the one i sent you that one's a real kids friendly like kind of comic book the freedom-filled flavorful faithfully fierce fantastic fear-facing food fighters <laughs> <laughs> And that one's like very, very kid friendly. Because I went from the Bud, which was like everybody, even though there wasn't violence and stuff, everybody was like, "It's too mature." And I was like, "Oh man." <laughs> yeah. Well, it you know, I mean, each has a, its own audience, and uh, you know, I mean, you you really with the Bud. I mean, you know, people like it or not, it's it's of their taste or not. Um, but you got you got a massive amount of exposure out of it, yeah. Uh, so, hey, I mean, you know, it's like that's that's one of the things I want to do um, while working on my hundred days of making comics. You know, for those watching this that don't know, I'm I'm filming filming this uh, a few days before I'm starting my one hundred days, so I'm gonna squeak it into my uh, first video. Um, but I wanna I wanna promote myself and what my objectives are outside of how I normally promote. You know, I wanna I wanna try to get onto podcasts and uh, other people's YouTube channels talking about what I'm doing, but also you know go outside that and you know it may make me take me a couple of weeks just to make sure I'm. I'm rolling on my 100 days and, and getting my 30 minutes or more in. Um, but I want to try to get to uh, radio stations and TV and, and like really promote not only the 100s and making comics, but um, the the artist life and, and, and you know, promote like how uh, people can have a successful career within art. And, you know, if that's what you love and that's what you want to follow as a dream, then um you know people do it <laughs> yeah really that's really where it's at man that's honestly that's what i think that's really where it's at i think like uh you know there's a lot of reality tv shows that are based on uh just people that have no talent whatsoever that are doing nothing and i'm like what in the world are you? like i always i always tell my wife i'm like how in the world is this person on tv and i can't uh, there's no like see that's what we should do pete we should go <laughs> and we should create a reality TV show about, you know, that follows the different lives of everybody in your studio. 
on a day to day basis producing these comic books, man, because it's it's crazy stuff. And then going to the comic cons is crazy stuff. And I mean, yeah, I mean, I've I've had a a dream in the past that you know I'll probably get to one day, uh, but essentially it's it's like getting uh like a tour bus for for music people like getting a tour bus and going across america with a bunch of of creatives for a couple of months and just hitting bookstores and comic stores and malls and whatever exists out there uh maybe doing a, a few music nights uh just like a celebration and 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 actually working while doing it and uh, that's, that's, that's like kind of insane. Cause I know a lot of people wouldn't be able to handle that kind of <laughs> traveling every day and <laughs> doing artwork and creating comics at the same time. But yeah, yeah. I've thought about that too. If you could make it into performance, you know, there goes my phone. Um, <laughs> man, it's like every time I do these, um, yeah, so on top of that, um, well, I'm going to be crowdfunding this, and I'll, I'll get into on, on the video and maybe a, a couple of live streams before I stop officially stop my 100 days, um, how I'm cr crowdfunding it. But right now, I do have my Patreon page up, and that will be one way. Um, I looked at you know, it's like everybody's doing Kickstarter right now. It's, it's the popular trend with comic books seems to be Indiegogo. Um, I'm doing Patreon. Other people, other creators doing Patreon. Um, there's a bunch of people doing GoFundMe. Um, I'm going to sort of do something outside the box, and maybe it's insane and and somewhat idiotic, but I'm going to try a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's like, however you support me, the rewards would be universal to uh, however you like to support creators. Right. right. Um, yeah. So. Because that's um, the weird thing about, about all the social media stuff and the internet is everybody's got their options. And because they've got options, you know, they're like. Oh, I prefer to do it this way. So I think it's really smart that you're going to do all the different options, man. I mean, why not do all the different options? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's like I, I followed so many creators and, and like the really successful ones really have a, a streamlined system to what they're doing. You yeah. know, you look at somebody like Jason Brubaker. Basically, he was posting his webcomic um did you know weekly and over the course of whatever it was two years you know he, f he finished enough pages to put together his first uh trade volume of, of his story and then he crowdfunded that and he, it was a big success and so on um you know what i'm doing it's it's a little it's a little edgy but um we'll see how it works out uh, at the very least you know if I can get a little more funding than I'm getting now, then it's it's worth it. You know, like I said, I'm going to be um, busting my ass along the way as well. I got I got projects with other people. I'm going to be signing a contract on some work. So I'll you know my my income is is covered. Um, but to really grow the studio and ex expand the studio, um, you know I I'm. I'm thinking I need X amount a month in order to pay f for everybody I'm hiring, you know, um, and and the expansion of the studio and all that jazz. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm excited, you know, to at least give it a shot. At, and you know, it's like it's like I say with everything. If I fall on my face, I fall on my face. So what, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you know, I rather I rather try than did not do it at all yeah i feel like i'm i always feel like the hydra you know not from the not from marvel but you know get your head cut off and you know grow back two more man you know that's 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 how you know it's like that rocky thing man. that's how you win that's how you keep going you know you can't you know we're all gonna fail man but you know 
we just keep going until we don't fail. And that's that's the key is keep yeah. going until we don't fail. It's not that we're always going to fail and that we're going to keep failing. But when there's a little bit of a setback, we don't let it set us all the way back, man. And we keep moving forward. So it's like that comic book I, that I was mentioning earlier where we had a, some trouble with it. And uh, I'm working with, uh, you know, the colorist for that on a couple of different books and stuff. He would actually be really, really interested. If you look at my stuff on Instagram and the stuff on my uh, Facebook artist page, he's been coloring a lot of the stuff. His name's Sammy Flores. He's a really good man. He'd be really interested in joining up and doing all this stuff too, man. He's really good. Okay, cool. Um, I uh, I know I know his name. I never actually spoke to him. You know, I, he's another one of my thousands of virtual friends. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like I got I got my uh, a small list, um, and uh, I want you know people. I definitely want to to like start this off in a big way, right? Um, of course, if if we get funded uh, above and beyond, then by all means, uh, I'll start hiring uh, other people left and right. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, heck, if if I could, you know, if I could, if I could do, um, I don't know, let's say Dark Horse level uh, of book monthly books, you know, regular monthly books, um, then yeah, I could hire a ton of people, but. Um, you know, uh, one of my goals is like not to be working out of where I live. <laughs> so I would like really? to have that, a, that, that actual... my goal. I don't know. My goal. I like. I don't know. I got my little office and. I got... Well, I always, I always want my home office. But if if I'm going to have a, a full fledged company, yeah. you know, I, w- I would like to have a a, a headquarters. That'd be cool. Um, and I, that is that is part of my dream. You know, to to like build a a a sort of new york type office building in kentucky um <laughs> that would you know where you can have it side by side with a ranch type atmosphere <laughs> yeah, so, balloon and you know then you're all good yeah you gotta you gotta dream big and that, and that's uh the beginning of all this so we'll, let's, let's see where it goes and where we can take it um definitely you know uh, i want everybody that's well, going to be man. yeah i want every, everybody that's going to be part of this team to uh you know promote it as well and and um absolutely yeah uh only good things will come out of it um oh i wanted to mention uh i thought of something when you were talking before um like you were talking about crazy celebrities and whatnot um there's a YouTuber, like a Korean kid who's uh, probably in, in high school or college. I'm not really sure. All he does is he films himself for hours studying. I don't know if you ever heard of this or saw of this. Um, but he's just like, you know, he's at his computer or he's reading books. He doesn't say anything. It's just hours of live streaming. Of, of him studying and, and, and doing his homework. And he's got like millions of viewers oh, yeah. on, YouTube, on YouTube. You know, he's probably rich off of it. Who knows? But uh, it's insane. Like, you know, the kind of what we call celebrities now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, uh, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll end this in a minute. Okay. If there's anything you want to um, mention or just, you know, tell people your links again. Um, go for well, it. Right now I've got uh, Freedom Filled, Flavorful, Faithfully Fierce, Fantastic Fear Facing Food Fighters. And that's on sale at uh, Indie Planet right now. Um, we, might, we might just have to put it on your label, Pete. <laughs> uh, um but I think it's like if you like the old school G.I. Joe, like uh, Transformers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all that kind of stuff, you're going to love Freedom Filled, Flavorful, Faithfully Fierce, Fantastic Fear Facing Food Fighters. Uh, guy, uh, Henry the Elf, uh, which was written by Sammy Flores, and then he colored uh, Food Fighters. Pete is going to be doing, you're going to be doing uh, the inks on Food Fighters uh, number three, 
the cover. Right. Um, and then let's see, I've got Claire, uh, which is uh, coming out soon. We're just doing some edits on that one. And that's kind of a, it's a sci-fi, um, pretty cool, pretty cool, uh, like cancer, kind of like inside the body, um, pretty crazy comic book, man. And then uh, we got Psycho Pumps that, I, that I'm working on right now. And that one's cool too. It's like a sci-fi mixed with fantasy, like it's kind of like a Star Wars mixed with Disney, but like not like how Disney bought Star Wars, but like, <laughs> you're just like, like two separate worlds that are colliding, and we're you're just kind of watching them as they're getting ready to collide. It's really like a, it's like Star Wars meets Willow or something like that, or Star Wars meets like a, like Tangled or something. You know, it's just like. Very, 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 very fantasy here, and then very like sci-fi here. Like it's very separated. Yeah, sounds like fun. Yeah. Well, I will, I will mention um, that you know I'm excited to be working on your, you know, your pencils. Like I said, I, I've been a fan of your work, and um, I definitely want you as as a key member in in the comics universe and uh you know um if you're watching this and and you want to support all this happening then you know i'll be posting links and i'll be adding stuff as i do my 100 days um so you know talk to my future self who will be making a video in a couple of days um <laughs> and uh uh, yeah, this this is this is going to be a, a crazy ride. I'm pretty insane for doing this, but uh, I figure, you know, let me let me throw everything at the wall and, and see what sticks. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But that we gotta all be crazy, man. You gotta have some craziness. You gotta take some risks to get the rewards, man. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, um, yeah. Does that cover everything for you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Sounds like a blast. I can't wait. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There we have it. There is my uh, day one of 100 days, so 99 days left. Um, I hope you like my chat with Odd. Um, it was a lot of fun to do, and, and uh, I've been waiting for that moment to uh, get started to work with him. Um, as I do these videos, uh, I'm going to be stealing from Mike Emirates and do a uh, checklist segment to my videos um, to where I'll just, you know, as, as things really um, get finalized, um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know where me and I are at. Um, and I believe I mentioned it either in, in the odd... It's so hard to keep track of myself. <laughs> in the odd uh, segment or in the Facebook Live stream uh if i mentioned that my housemate is going to be assisting me uh to some degree and uh, i chatted with her uh the other night and she's got at least a week maybe two weeks worth of things she's got to take care of on the east coast um before she gets here, but she's even more enthusiastic about helping me, and she does want me to order her around and be productive. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, should be interesting. Um, never thought when I first met her that she'd ever <laughs> be working for me to even even a small capacity. But having having somebody hands on. Uh, living with me and, and, and essentially she'll be getting daily updates to what I'm up to um, will be very 
helpful and make me a hell of a lot more productive, therefore potentially make a hell of a lot more uh, money flowing in, which, you know, when it comes right down to it, I need to <laughs> more than triple my current income to just cover the basics uh, going forward. Um, so, with that said, I will mention, <laughs> because this just happened, um, I, I did the odd segment as a stream on YouTube, and in order for me to download it and then edit it into this video, um, I had to make it, make it public, and <laughs> a couple of my friends saw it. Uh, one who commented on the video, which I totally appreciate, and thank you so much. Um, actually, let me go, let me go. Okay, yeah, and another friend who emailed me and said he was available for work. Uh, keep in mind that I have no real funds at the moment other than... Um, Oh. So, I really got to laugh because uh, I'm probably going to be interrupted more often than not. Um, when my friend gets here, maybe it will be a little easier because then she could be my defense, line of defense. Um, yeah, somebody knocked on my door. <laughs> so, I want to thank... Uh, Kevin Phillips, um, who didn't comment on my video, um, for, uh, just, uh, saying he's sorry and liked it, um, but Logan Andrews, who commented on that video, and like I said, I'll probably make that video alone public in a couple of days, but I it really did want to put it into this segment and uh, maybe I should, <laughs> should download the video at a, a real bizarre time that nobody will see it or nobody will be up to see it. Anyway, I don't know how to grab the video without me making it public. So that's going to happen. Anyway. Um, Alright, so this, this is the, the end of the video segment and not get totally distracted. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, if, if, if I truly wish to build a full-fledged studio, then this kind of stuff is going to happen more and more. So I just got to get used to it and go with the flow. Um, but one of the points... I forget if I just made this point, but one of the points I want to make is that I'm not looking for, to hire you, you know, it's like I want to grow my studio and I already have a list of names, I have friends I've known for years and decades, um, obviously I would hire them first, I mean that's the whole point of me growing the studio is because I want to work with these people uh, that I've been dying to for so long um, and by really pushing myself and, and pushing to work on my studio um, you know it, and, and having more com money come in not only through my work um, but by working with other people and throwing that money into the pot to get whatever I need for this studio or get people for this studio. So, um, unless you're really amazing and really cheap, <laughs> and it, you know, living in the U.S. and there's, there's a reason for that. Um, I'm probably not going to call your name first or tenth or one hundredth. Uh, depending on how much we successfully 
um, my turn. Uh, successfully, uh, you know, how many comments we produce or something like that. Um, so, so yeah, it, it, in a way, it's a little bit of a shout out. Uh, Logan Andrews is a YouTuber um, who I he really, you know, uh, he does really good work, and uh, he's a new YouTuber. So maybe I'll, I'll put his link into the video description box because I, I love uh, supporting um, new people as well as old, um, meaning <laughs> they've been doing this for years. Um, right away, Brian, Brian Snuffer uh, is another one. Well, just look below. I'll stick with a couple of names, and now I'm hungry. Um, I've been going all day. It's about 10 p.m. All right, so in the end, to there's a word for it, but um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm sorry that it's as long as it is, but uh, hopefully you've been you know drawing along and just listening looking every now and then <laughs> to see what was up. I, I must say, Odd, um, you know, I've had him in, in previous Studio Synergy uh, episodes. Um, he's got a freaking amazing studio, which I don't believe I mentioned uh, during our stream together. Uh, but I, I, love, I love his place, and... Uh, not sure where he lives, but uh, eventually I'd, I'd love to go visit his studio and be there in person and maybe stream from there together. Um, which is what my hope for everybody I'm going to be working with while we may remain 99.99999% uh, working virtually. Uh, whether we are streaming to, to connect or doing the whole messenger chat or emailing or, you know, whatever, uh, phone calls, regular phone calls, <laughs> um, I would like to meet these person, people in person, uh, not even talking about conventions down the line where, where I hope they come and promote their own work. Um, uh, that, that's, that is another thing I hope to in, within my hundred days, go to a big convention and that being Megacon is what I have my site set to. So, uh, if you want to become my patron just to, to help, uh, support me going to Megacon, you, you know, I'll be at, uh, Thomas Tenney's table. Um, him and Mark Fenton, the writer creator of Down, Thomas being the artist. I'm going to be the anchor on that book. That's a project I'm doing outside of Has with others. Um, sure, that book is going to take off. Uh, it's got real interest behind it. We're putting together a package that to blow away publishers to see if we can get picked up by uh, one of the big guys and um, yeah all, all the money <laughs> I'll be making through that and another gig I still can't mention other than I'll be doing illustrations for somebody else um, yeah a lot is going on and I'm making a huge part of you know, my, my expanding my studio and moving and and really getting more professional with what I do and how I do it. And I know, and I know, Gaz is in the back of my brain yelling at me throughout this whole video. Um, anybody that doesn't know, Gaz Gretzky, <laughs> Gretzky um, 
he's he's pretty much saying like why the hell aren't you focusing on one project uh give me a deadline for your project yada 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 uh well the 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 loose deadline i'm making is two publications within this 100 days i said what one is i'm not saying what the next one will be um but I hope to have a heck of a lot more before this year is out. So that, that you know, there'll be more beyond these 100 days. So it's it's August, September, October. So November, December, well, probably December. I, I can imagine having another two books out at least. Um, I'm trying to be realistic and... and top of things so we'll, we'll see we'll see um really i wanted to start this year because it's a freaking given number year um but whatever i accomplish this year i hope to double it next year so if i put four out this year i'm going to put eight out next year and that's 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 my guarantee to you so Show me your support now, and I'll freaking remember it, and I'll make it worth your while. Um, one of the things I haven't mentioned thus far is um, any numbers I can, I can track as far as what happened previous to today, meaning if you've ever been a... Um, a patron of mine. I know everyone who has ever been a patron of mine. That's easy to look up. Um, if you ever contributed uh, to a uh, buying art on my store, which I, I got to update. Uh, I'm going to be possibly doing a little restructuring to my store. So if you ever bought art from me, Anything I can go back and track, um, you know, I've done most of my business via pay, uh, PayPal. Um, I'm going to offer you, at the very least, specials to what's coming up. Um, I would love to offer you more, but I'm not going to cut my own throat <laughs> and work myself out of business. Um, so, I'm trying to be a better businessman, but, you know, it's slowly <laughs> taking up that. So, that's, that's it for now. Please like, please comment, please offer suggestions, advice, what you would like to see within these 100 days, what you would like to see afterwards, uh, become a patron. Throw me a couple bucks, some change through my tip jar. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like this video. Share this video. Hashtag as nation. We are going to fucking rule this planet. Uh, no, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, that's it for now. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. It'll be very short. Uh, but a lot more, you know, a lot more, uh, more art than anything else to show off. Um, I'll be working on actual inking rather than just filling in borders. But that's necessary work. That's, you know, like, that's how I started in this industry. And that's why it was important for me to show it at some point, <laughs> particularly in this video. My day one of uh, 100, let's see, it's 100 <laughs> um, days of making has comics. Has. He's your friend. Right there. Um, yeah, so do you have has comics? <laughs> All right, catch you again.